Good evening, good evening everyone. How are we all? How are we all doing? Welcome into another Cricket Captain stream. Here we are, back with Derbyshire. Welcome in Vincent, Duck, Allian, Cricktex. Hope you're all doing well. Hope it's all going very, very well. We're going to have to do some training here, so let's just take a look what we've got. We're trying to make Hunter a limited overs player. Which, is he? Oh, he is. I think it worked. Yeah, he's in the middle order. It didn't actually tell me. It says here... Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. No, never mind. Damn. Thought it did. ODI and T20. Yeah, okay. It would tell me. That's fair enough, then. We play on. Physio, probably... Well, we're not playing Connors, so it's not that big a deal. Let's keep going on Pearson, because you don't really have a good backup. Sounds good to me. What's going on, everyone? What's going on? What have we got? You've been a bit busy with exams. It's all good, Vincent. Yep, I'm late. I mean, it's just, just another standard day, isn't it? How it rolls. How it rolls. How to, how to produce good young at middle order batters in first class? Your bowlers always bowl well, but your batting sucks. I just find them in the list. I don't know. Uh, Alien, I can show you though. Definitely look at the sick 11, sick 11 stats. I'm just going to keep pounding it and saying it again, but it's so true. Sick 11 stats are so useful because they tell you who converts and who doesn't. You can see Ethan Hunter, for example. Look at his sick 11 stats. They're brilliant. Good averages all round. You know, 39, 33. Uh, these, these averages are pretty average. How about Young? So he's 48, 38, 29. So that's pretty good. You know, so you can normally sort of tell how they're going to go with the sick limit stats. Which is where you can see we've got some pretty healthy first class averages. They're not brilliant, but they're not terrible. That's the main thing. They're not terrible, and they've got a chance to go up. Welcome in, Josh. How are we? Tyler. Ethan Goat. Yeah, we've got two of them at the moment, so it's always exciting to have Ethan Kai as well. And I think... In terms of the team moving forwards, who's got actual form that we... They're not really. 34, 31, 32. I think Hayden Kerr's doing pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty pretty good all round from Hayden Kerr. He's a good pickup. Bailey Wiggins is in the team. Yeah, he's only in the team for T20s at the moment. So we'll see how that plays out. Definitely should be interesting for sure. Don't know how it's going to go, but we'll see. Got a lot of bowlers. No changes in the batting department. Uh, Shris I is actually out. And Ravindra's gone on international duty again. I thought he came back, but obviously not. Pakistan beat New Zealand. Did he play? He didn't even play. That's a shame. Trent Bolt 3 for 4. Brilliant. And we won again, New Zealand. There you go. And uh, Herrera, of course, is playing for Pakistan, who also plays for Durham. So that's quite an interesting turn of events for sure. Whoa, I nearly missed Ravindra taking 6 for 20. What the heck? Goodness me, I didn't see that coming. Oh, that's scenes. What was that in a T20 as well? How good. Wow, that's impressive. Averaging... 16 in T20 Internationals with the ball. Phenomenal effort. Okay, let's jump in. Re Re Ravindra becoming Jadeja. How good. That's incredible. That truly is incredible. Now, do we make any changes to the team? We're not bowling particularly well, I have to say that. Pearson's not batting very well either. Who's taking second 11 wickets? Let's take a look at sick 11. Everyone's checking out the top hours, as you do. Stick around and maybe you'll make the top hours list or climb higher, of course. Um, what are we looking at here? Oh, it shows points when you ask for hours. Yeah, it's, it's been a... It's a bug sometimes. I can try and give you the top hours. It's a bit strange. I can try my best. See if that works. Um, otherwise, we're going to go to second 11 and see how we're currently going this year. 34, 31. Young's doing very well in second 11. 
There you go, so hours are displayed there. Nice. Sam Young, 22 years of age. Played eight one-day games for Somerset. He's come across to the club, and he's got 79 and 93 in the last game. Doing a fantastic job. Who else have we got? Tyson, 94. Uh, he's kind of carried by that 94, though. So that doesn't really help. There you go. You can see the top hours yet. You finished your science, mechanics, and genetics. That sounds complicated, Josh, but hope it went well. Don't worry about the capitals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit weird. 83 with the bat from McKernan, but again, a 61's really carrying that. Scrimmishall got 44 average. He got an 85 and a 5 up. Very nice. Can't lie about it. 24. It's okay. 35. 23 from Alex Hughes. Got 7 for. Interesting. Interesting. Didn't do that well with the bat, though. 7 wickets at 27. He took 5, but for 110. And what about our current averages? Maybe... We give Young a crack. It's against Leicestershire, though. And the problem is that we probably should beat them. How's Goodman doing? Pretty much what you'd expect. And deploy. Slightly below, still doing good though. We're doing okay, Pearson's really struggling. And we don't really have another keeper. We could bring in Tyson, but he hasn't done the best either. Next Monday, computer science, Tuesday phys- Jeez. That's, that's crazy, Alien. Good luck for them all. That's unlucky to have them stacked together like that. Ah, it's really disappointing to see the... To see the, the, the figures with the bowling not really coming together. Uh, let's go sick lemon again. The scrimshaw is the best. Mm. Sounds like yours. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, that's rough, Josh. That is really rough. Well, hopefully we can provide you a bit of entertainment tonight to take your mind off things. Fingers crossed. Two days left. Just got to push through. Yeah. Absolutely, Josh. You got this. Hopefully we've got this match as well. Underwood, he got 100, didn't he? Yeah, it's good stuff. Hunter, how's he doing this year? 84. Yeah, okay. How's our bowlers doing? I'm trying to look around because we aren't doing the best at the start of this year and it's kind of disappointing. None, no wickets for Sadler in the last game at all. Maybe Scrimshaw comes in for Sadler. Yeah, I think so. Where's Digweed? Different universe, unfortunately, Josh. Which team uh, Livingston plays for? He plays for Lancashire, yeah. And he's done okay. Alfie Lyman. He plays for Southern Brave, yeah. Plays for us, yeah. Ethan Kite. All right, I think we're just going to make the one change. Sadler's going to come out. Going to bring in Scrimshaw to give him another crack. And I think we'll leave Goodleman at the top for now. We'll see how Young progresses again with another game. I think he's probably on the verge of coming into this team. He's just starting to get some really good form together. So we'll see. I feel like he definitely deserves a crack. What's his second lemon? 48. 38, 29. It's very, very solid. So I feel like Goodleman's only a matter of time before he gets booted out. The advantage, I guess, for him is that he's a left-hander. And... Yeah, he's doing all right. Give Wilson a crack. Again, see if he goes any better. And without further ado, let's crack on. They've got Welch, Swindles, Colin Ackerman, uh, Wheatley. That's a new name to me. Okay, and Will Davis. Okay. I'm going to call Heads. They actually outskill us again, and they've put us into bat. 
Probably not the worst result, actually. Looks like towards the end of the day it could get a bit cloudy. Nothing too bad. Yep, they do have Wayne. Um, is it Wayne? Is it Wayne? I don't know. Wayne Mulder? Yeah, anyway. I, I kind of get his name wrong, but there you go. We've got Mulder there. Alright, let's see how we go. What do we think for a bet here? Early doors here. Let's go straight for... Are we going to score more than 300? Let's go for it. What do we think here? Clouds, but pitch is very flat. Yep. Early doors. Yes, it is. Absolutely. I'm going to bet 10 on yes. Okay, so we've got one yes already. What does that mean for everyone else? Are we going to have someone else say no? That's the real tricky part. Are we going to have another no in the mix? Nope, Josh is just going to gamble 6,000 instead. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, and Josh has gone yes as well. Okay, okay. Interesting scenes then. And lose again. Oh, gosh, that's rough. That is really rough. Streamlabs just not about it. Fair enough. Okay, and unless anybody else wants to bet, I did push autoplay, so that's already a mistake from me. But we're good. We make the first over. Unless anybody else is going to bet, we're going to play on. Hopefully, all right. Just get ourselves in today and see how we go. Very slow start, that's for sure, but working our way in. Now I've got spin into the attack, so we've made our way through the pace. Jeez, jeez, careful. Don't get too loose before lunch, though. 24 for none. Playing a miss. Tell you what, we've been ultra slow. 7 or 66. Shot, there we go. First boundary. Only took 23 overs into the innings. That is slow. But we've got there. And gone. Straight to the silly point. 7 of 75 for Wilson. Well, he fought hard, but... Oh dear. That is not good. Welcome back, Duck. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Betting has been closed, so unfortunately you did miss out on the bet. Not a problem. Didn't have too many people bet in that anyways. We're just going to leave Goodman at, at that rate. I feel like, well, actually, we can push him up a bit. If, you know, he's faced 100 balls now. Try that other guy on your team, S. Young. Uh, I did actually miss him in this game, but he's on the radar for sure to play moving forwards. Yes. Wilson underwhelming. I wouldn't say underwhelming. He's got a 75. He's got a couple of starts, but obviously getting 7 off 75 was not ideal. You know, but that's the way it goes. 45 in a session. Yeah, it was rough. That was a really rough session, Alien. 100%. 50 up, though. Finally, on the board. Nice from Goodman. Through mid wicket. Now we four. Just trickles away. Duploy, so we've got the two left-handers, and he flicks it fine for four. Moves to 14 off 26. Spinner of Parkinson with left-arm spin. That's going to be cut away for four. Nice and fine as he goes again. And plays and misses Goodman. Moves to 43. Outside leg, not a problem. You love the new T20 kit from New Zealand? You feel like it looks more like the ODI? Yeah, I thought it was the ODI kit, to be honest. And then I, they said that it was the T20. I was like, oh, that's a bit of a shame. Because I thought it was going to be the ODI kit. I was a big fan. I saw it and I was like, that a big fan. Massive fan. Oh, he's castled him. Oh, that's no good. Duploy walks for 18 of 45. Definitely taking our time in terms of... We're 43 overs into this match. And we're only on 79 runs. Goodwin's going to pull that away, though, and bring up a 50 of his own. Very, very lovely. 50 of 146. It's been a slow innings, but it's good to see. Nice off the back foot through the covers. Is that his first 50? First 50 this season. Yeah, officially as well. It looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Oh, shot for one bounce. Four from Hunter over point. That is a shot and a half. He does love facing spin. 
was going to say, I nearly jinxed him there. Down the ground, four more. Very good from Ethan Hunter. Oh, it's up. It's in the gap. Oh, my word. He's actually managed to get it between two fielders. I cannot believe that. That is incredible. That's four more to Goodman. 100 up for Derbyshire as well. Honestly, don't see the need to brush anything yet. Just keep going. Better than the T21? I have to say, I do agree. I'm surprised they've rolled it out this late. Like, I don't know why they did that, but... Oh, is that short or out? Short! Wow. They've been very unlucky with their edges. Hasn't carried through. Two edges in a row have not carried through, but that's a screamer from first slip, and Goodelman departs now for 64. Damn, that's a shame. Should have just been the World Cup kit. Yeah, I agree, Duck. Absolutely, I agree. What are our thoughts on Ben Stokes taking back his ODI retirement? Rumors. 56% of you say no. He's not going to take it back. Which I'm surprised about. I think he's totally going to take it back. I have to say, I think he's totally going to take it back. No, he hasn't. But it will he take it back? I think he will take it back. Is what I'm saying. Go counter-attack, going too slow. And Hunter's nicked off, so that hasn't helped. Going for 29 or 63. Dear oh dear. Nice, through mid-wicket from Kurt. That's four. Stokes will be back two months before the World Cup. Yeah, I think something like that, eh? I, th I think so. I agree with that. I think he's just going to wait till the last second and... Slot back in again. Go again, you know? He's not too bothered about not playing. Nice. Very good from Kurt. We need him to score some runs today. 138 for four. Definitely dicey. Swept away from Underwood for four. Nice through square leg. Very good. Five minutes remain to the session. We're just going to see it out. T on day one. 151 for four. Surely we're the slowest. Pretty much... Yeah, the only people who are close are middle six, and they've lost two extra wickets. England stand no chance without Stokes in the middle order as their fourth as a fourth pacer. Yeah, I think they're going to struggle next World Cup. I do. One fifty-five for four. Nicked and dropped. Kerr, that's a big moment. He's a big player for us. That is a big, big moment. Underwood onto eighteen. Gets a full toss, but he edges it. Fine for four. Probably shouldn't be edging full tosses like that. Nice. Through mid wicket from Underwood. Flicked away for four more. Very, very good. Moves to 30. Getting himself set in here. Can he continue to push on? Is the real question. He does, though. Through mid wicket for four. Nice. Parkinson. On the stumps. Beautifully played through the offside for four more. Underwood's been pretty good. Yeah, he's been very good. He's actually been very good. Where is he from again? Which team? He is from Lancashire. And for Lancashire, he didn't play a single first class game. Very surprising. Because he's averaging 42 already. Playing a gem, yeah. Got to keep going though. Played and missed. Moves to 40 though. Under the clouds as well, must I add. Played and missed. Rhodes, the off spinner into the attack. P provides a bit of, I was going to say, yeah, a bit of relief. And that's a full toss down the ground for four. Much needed. What's Underwood going to do? He's in the late 40s here. Oh, nice. Nearly got through cover, but just hits it to him and gets 50. Beautiful. Well done to Underwood. Moves his average into the 40s. And that's his first 50 to combine with his first 100 this season. Beautifully played. Yeah, you celebrate every milestone you get in this team. Well done. 194 for four. Tossed up again. And down the ground for four more. Nice. Very good. Kerr on strike now. He hits it through mid-wicket now. Four more. Player to look out for. Might be, might be. Still early days yet for him, but it's good signs. Great shot through mid-wicket. I just want him to just seed out to the deliveries and just 
get himself stuck in here. This is good from these two, though. Very good. 215 for four. Underwood on to 60 now. Oh, wow. You wonder if Jimmy Pearson's going to play well here? I don't know. It's so hot. What is? <laughs> I'm confused why you're making that statement, but okay. Oh, Underwood. Very nice. New ball's taken. Oh, your room. Oh. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> okay, fair enough. Kerr, new ball taken. Played and misses, though. Underwood plays it off the back foot through the covers for four. Ah, I see, I see. Right. Complain about the weather all day. 76, he moves to, and he's dropped. Oh, Underwood. I was like, I for sure thought he was going to go out that delivery. Dropped. Temperature's only 15 degrees, but it feels very humid. I can, I can understand that. New Zealand's very humid. I don't know why it's like what it is, but it is very humid. Swing and a miss. New user record, 100 stand for the fifth wicket. Play and a miss. Kurt, and he's finally gone across the line. Didn't he get dropped two times in the century? Probably duck, but it doesn't matter. 100 to 100. <laughs> and Kerr's gone for 26. So Pearson walks to the middle. He's already been dropped once this game, though, yes. It's going to rain for cricket. Yeah, I saw... You know what, uh, Josh? It's supposed to rain for cricket as well. Uh, where I am as well, yeah. So... <laughs> Forecast is getting worse more than better, yeah. I, I've had that as well, so yeah. it's It looks like it's fine throughout the, the week, and then right when we're supposed to play cricket, it's like just going to buck it down. So yeah, classic, isn't it? He's getting dropped so many times, yeah. He's a bit like Manus, though. Look, as long as you make them pay, it's all that counts. Playing a miss. Moves into the 80s. Drives for four. Now moves to 87. One over left in the day, though. Pearson on strike. Down the ground. It will just sneak to the boundary for four from Pearson. Very nice. And that ends the day. Such typical New Zealand weather. Yeah. Underwood. What a knock. 260 for five. We actually do beat Middlesex, actually. That's incredible. Oh, wow. Vasconcelos. 196. We'll actually look around the grounds later. Not a bad day in the end, yeah. Do you think Parkinson is a valid replacement for Adil Rashid? Yes. I think it's very early doors for him. So, yes. Very nice end to the day. Absolutely. We were really struggling in the middle there. Nice from Underwood through the covers. He's underway early in the day. Moves into the nervous 90s. On to 93. Plays and misses on to 94. Think you'll bet 300 will be right. Maybe. Too early though. Pearson gets a full toss and he hits it for four though. Through mid, oh, through point actually. Good stuff. 95, 97. He's just seeing it out. Underwood. There it is. Would you believe it? He's got a second first class ton in the season. Get around it. No 50s, 200s. Stanley Underwood. What a player. Century number two this season. Wow, fantastic. We might have a new superstar in the making. Look at that this season. 55 average, 200s. Phenomenal. Wow. At one eight, like 103 off 182 as well. Very quick. Highest track rate in the whole team. Did get dropped and played him as four times, but hey, it doesn't matter. He has turned up with a ton, and maybe, just maybe, the calls of Underwood over Ethan Hunter could be made. Early days, though, for him. How will he kick on here today, though? Still got himself in. Pearson. And he's edged it. Pearson walks for 24 of 66. It's a start, but he's gone. And, in fact, that's his second best score all season. Welcome in, Kane. How you doing? Hope everything's going well. When is the university bully coming out? That nickname, that's very good. Uh, he's coming out at number 11, so hopefully not anytime soon is the way to put it. 
Underwood's going to have to have a crack here. What did he actually get in his first 100? Well, he got 101. So he's already betted his first 100. Cohen plays and misses. 300 on the board, and we've done it. We have done it. Pearson has been underwhelming, but we've got there in the end. And the bet has been won. Congratulations to those that guessed it correctly. Hopefully you earned some points from that. Melbourne Renegades set to beat the Sydney Thunder. How good. Especially considering our injury woes have been just unbelievable. You feeling better from your sickness? That's good to hear, Kane. Very good to hear. Keepers in your world always average 20. Yeah. So I guess Pearson's doing all right then. <laughs> Out of Padu, got another duck. Oh, that's no good. Oh, well, a win's a win. You take it. 319. Underwood pulls it square for four. Nice. Cohen edges it, but it's four. Very lucky, but you take it. Bit of cloud about. Mold around the wicket to Underwood. That's outside leg. Yeah, he's giving it not out. Outside leg. Last over before the end of the session. Down the ground past the bowler from Underwood for four. Lunch on day two. Stanley Underwood. He continues his fine form. 139 not out of 255. Very good batting here. Just looking around the grounds to see. Wow, 200 not out from Tom Haynes though. That's certainly something. Not too many big hundreds. But Underwood's making one of them. I can't remember the last time like we made a score like this either. Cohen. Short, I think. It is. We've had a little bit of luck in this innings, that's for sure. Especially Underwood getting dropped early in probably like the 40s. That's pulled away for four. Oh, lovely. Off the back foot for four more. Oh, no way. He's brought up 150. Would you believe it, Underwood? There you go, new new user record. Highest innings for Derbyshire against Lancashire, 152. Stanley Underwood. He's creating a new legacy for himself here. And I tell you what, I'm getting all around this. Early days in his career, but what a start. And you have to question, you do have to question, why did Lancashire not give him a crack in the first class format? Look at that. Complete transformation from his limited overs. So far, his limited overs returns. 350 on the board. He's edged it, but he's still safe. And so he still cracks on. We could probably up him just because he's probably going to get tired. Nice. Through point for four more. Cohen outside the line. Irony will be 100 against Lancashire. That is true. That is true. Obviously, these uh, this is Leicestershire as well. Yeah, uh, or Leicestershire. Nice from Cohen. Moves to 22. And he's gone. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. My bad. That was a big jinx. Scrimshaw walks to the middle. We've got three wickets and the tail left. Oh, that's a full toss. And that's head away for four. Derbyshire's been fully transformed through these transfers. Absolutely. I wouldn't say fully transformed, but I would say partially transformed. And, well, I mean, having someone at 161 is definitely going to transform the team's results, though, isn't it? There's a heist on going, by the way. 6,000 that Josh has put into the heist as well. Don't forget to join that in the chat. Get some free points while you can. Because, why not? 162. Goodness me. There you go. At the ground, Lester. 165. 166 now. He's gone for it and he's taken. Beautiful catch at silly point. Lyman walks to the middle. Underwood. What's he going to do in response? He's gone. He's gone. He's finally out. He's got it to jag back and he's trapped in front of middle. Gone for 166 of 306 deliveries. 346 minutes. Beautiful. He's done his job though. He has done his job. Absolute supreme innings. Well done to Stanley Underwood. A career best 166. As the university bully walks out. Yes, indeed, Duck. Welcome in, Shreds. 
Do you like pudding? Now, Shreds, I would answer the question, but I have to ask, why are you asking? I just have to know, Shreds, why? Uh, what's the heist? It is basically if you put in points, you join the treasure hunt, and you have a chance to come away with some points, or you end up losing, depending on how the heist goes. Give it a crack and see how you go anyway. Great knock. Standing ovation. Absolutely. Very, very good knock. Incredible. The innings is nearly wrapped up here. We're just waiting for the bowlers. That's down leg though. 390 for 9. Oh, an edge for 1. Good. Probably want Lyman to attack more than Shreds. You're just curious? Oh. Then yes, sure. What are your thoughts on putting? Taking it is what I'm just going to say. Yes, for sure. Why not? Oh, it's an edge for four. <laughs> dag it, you dag it. There you go. The entire crew escapes. Nice. So Duck and Josh win some more points. Continue their climb up the leaderboards. Well, they just continue to, I guess, hold a position that they have held so far. And that is the 400 mark. Can you say, yes, I like pudding, Shreds. There you go. There you go, Shreds. Sure. Goodness me, there you go, 400 on the board. Didn't think we were going to make 400, but it's been seen, so we've got there. Swing and a miss. I'm, I'm just going to leave, I'm going to leave Kai there. I'm not going to up his aggression. What a shot! Ethan Kai! Have some of that, I have to say. That was a beauty, and he's bowled him. <laughs> that was a beautiful shot before he got bowled. Yeah, 9 off 48. New user record for Derbyshire against Leicester at Leicester. Very good. Lyman 15 not out at the end. 409. Very good. <laughs> yeah, it's now a quote. Uh, there you go, Shreds. Enough runs for a day. Yeah, he just gets a four and that's it. That's all he needs. What's his what's his average? His average is literally like seven. So a boundary is pretty much all he's gonna get. This year though, 17. Oh, well, actually, that's because of that 44. <laughs> that's because of that 44, yeah. So, Underwood, 166, he's out for. 56.5 is his average right now at 20 years of age. Phenomenal. Very phenomenal. A lot of starts throughout the innings, though. Shows that this wicket is very good. And we're going to have our work cut out for us with the ball here. Lyman has one over before the end of the break, and there it is. Yep, just one off it. Yes, the question is, does Shreds like pudding? Hmm, the real questions have been, well, have been asked here. Yeah. Very much so. Ravindra, 15 off 7, not out, and got whacked, but Pakistan still won. Here we go. All right. Kerr with the ball. Four first ball. Threw him, but it's a no ball. Not a great start from Kerr, I have to say. 24 for none. Edged and taken. And there it is. A wicket to begin the innings. Welch gone for 10 off 15. Pearson takes a beauty off a full toss. We're taking it. Alex Jones, welcome in. How are you doing? Let me know in the chat. I hope it's all going well, though. And what are your thoughts on Ben Stokes and the rumors that he's going to take back his ODI retirement? To play in the next World Cup. Let me know. It's good to hear, Alex. Need more wickets here, please. I think Swindle scored a bunch of runs against us last time from memory. I'm going to bowl one more, and then we're going to change it up. Scrimshaw into the attack. Followed by Cohen. Cohen to Swindles. In the air, but in the gap. No run. Your thoughts are Ben should come out of retirement? Fair enough, fair enough. It, he probably, yeah, I don't know. I'm mixed about it. He probably should, I guess. You want a random quote? There you go. Absolutely butchered him. Clean <laughs> and dirty. Oh, dear. That was, that was an interesting quote there. Why did he retire in the first place? Uh, it was purely for workload reasons, pretty much. Alex, yeah. He's just got too much cricket. He can't keep playing every game, so. He pretty much said, I'm done with ODIs. Drop Stokes from T20s. He's overrated. Look, I will say this about his final innings. He got 52 not out, but of 49 balls. Not particularly quick. Not fair on the do. 
Yeah, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Swindles is doing very well here. Think we're going to bring on Kai. 21 overs gone. Four runs. That's to Ackerman, though. Oh, that's some big runs. Not what we want. Scrimshaw goes for a lot. We're going to take him off and bring Lyman back. Good partnership developing here. Played like Williamson. Yeah. Who's the England ODI captain? It is Jos Butler. Um, Alexia. Who's he going to replace in the team? I don't know. I don't even know what their current team is, so I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Lyman, no. Uh, we're going to change it to Kerr. 50 for Swindles now. Not what we want. A good partnership here. We're going to bring Duploy on before the end of the break or the end of the day. And, no, nah, just 7 off the over. 293 is what we lead by. One wicket down. The rain has stopped play. This is a very good day to be bowling. We've actually done this very well. He shouldn't come back from for a World Cup. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I can see both opinions, to be fair. But yeah, valid. You need a new spinner? Duck, you can't say that. It's Ethan Kai. You can't say that. We don't have another spinner. Oh, no. Shreds is asking me another question here. All right, Shreds, what have we got? Oh, that's four. No good. Mmm, that's a very good question, Shreds. Yeah, you're really trying to squeeze some answers out of me here. That's fair enough. Do I like Vegemite? Uh, look, I actually used to really like it, and then I got sick of it, so... Honestly, I couldn't tell you... I don't eat Vegemite, but I couldn't tell you it's bad because I haven't tasted it in so long. So, honestly, don't know. <laughs> So I'm gonna. Go, I guess I have to go with yes because I don't, you know. So well, so no, I don't like it because I don't eat it. But I actually couldn't confirm or deny because technically I haven't had it in a while. What are your thoughts on Vegemite shreds? What are your thoughts? Under the clouds here, hoping we get wickets, and we do. There we go. Yes, the partnership's gone. That feels good. Kerr gets the breakthrough, straight through the slip. You love Vegemite. There you go. Nice, Shreds. Luis Kimber. And what's his average this year? Ooh, not very good. <laughs> Why is that a quote? Surely not. No, surely not. All right, well, you guys make the quote, so that's fair enough. Uh, Lyman again. No, lunch on day three. More rain. We only lose 15. Mmm, and that's T. Yeah, it says 15 minutes, but it lied, didn't it? 39 minutes more. 30 overs left. Uh, I think a quote, uh, a, a quote, I think a, a moderator has to add it. Um, Al Alien, unfortunately. But Duck, Duck can do it. It's all good. Let's bring on Cohen, just for a change up here. Got Kerr. Outside leg. Got two left armors. 75. Kimber's gone. Yes, gone across the line. Taking it. Middle stump goes. Cohen gets his first now. Kerr, no. Cohen, no. Kerr, no. Cohen, no. Kerr to Rhodes. Edged and taken in the slips. Why so attacking for a batter on 85? Yeah, we've changed that. We've pushed the field out a little bit. You're right. Yep. Rhodes has gone for 16, though. No. Big wicket. Um, let's go Scrimshaw now. See how he goes under the, the clouds. Knocked him over! You beauty! Getting through Leicester now. One of six. Lewis Hill. Michael Wheatley. He's played two games, got six runs and two innings with a duck. Oh my word! Wow! What? Oh my! I have not seen two innings back to back like that before. I have to say, two twenty nine and one eighteen. Didn't see that coming. No, he averages three. But look at that! Oh my! Hiding that in the back. Okay, so he's a good player. In other words. That's what you're telling me. 
He's off the mark, so this could get interesting yet. Swindle's on strike. He's the key man to get. But it's in the gap. No run, no run. We're not really bowling much spin because it's all going in terms of the seam and the swing. And Swindles goes for 83. Scrimshaw picks him up. That's a big moment. Mulder to the middle. You beauty. Second 1100s are not, are not very tough. That's not true, Ali, and that's not true. Most players have a lot, but still. Yeah, but it's second limit stats, though. His second limit stats might be very good, though. Oh, you've just got a quick palmy out the way. Yep, fair enough, fair enough. Palmies are allowed. I can confirm. As long as they are deliberate palmies. You need an inspirational quote. I can't provide... Oh, well, there you go. You've, you've just asked for one. That's fair enough. There you go. Ah, hello, everyone. Okay, come on, Scrimshaw. Yes, another one. Let's go. Let's go, team. We're doing very well here. Four. Very good. Parkinson to the middle. Scrimshaw's got three wickets. He was expensive, but he's tearing through him. He's got four wickets. Would you believe it? Raw pace. Does him. He's gone for six. Three LBWs. Well, I guess one to Cohen earlier, but two to Scrimshaw in a row. Four for 46. There you go. Looking for a five. Edged. Taken. He's got number five. Thank you very much. That very, very good. What a spell. Unbelievable spell. Tearing up right now. This is insane. Kerr's going to back him up at the other end. To Wheatley. Outside leg. Plays outside off though. He moves to 20. Does Wheatley. He's got five. Does Grimshaw. Beaten. Just got to keep going. One over to close it out. And it's a great over. Ends day three. They need 43 runs for the last wicket to avoid the follow on. We're going to be freshened up here on day four as well. We need to get this follow on. Who needs Ethan Kite? Well, it, they don't suit the conditions. Don't suit him, to be fair, right now. Oh no! Oh, I've cooked him. I thought he was going to be fine because it was the end of the day. Oh no! Oh, it's so unlucky. It's the end of the day. Oh, that's no good. That really is bad. Oh, that's horrible. That's not good news. Lyman to Davis. Plays and misses, though. We're going to try and go super defensive and just try and attack the other player. Oh! Hasn't worked, though. We really do need to be aggressive and try and go for the... Follow on here. 25 to get. New ball. We want to take it. Kerr's going to take it with Lyman. We're going to go to Cohen. 15 to avoid the follow on though. 11. Going back to Lyman. Can we get it before the follow on? Edged and taken. Okay, okay. We've got it. Dehydrated and was taken to hospital. I don't know actually what the official thing is. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. I didn't realize. I thought he would have had like a like a strain, like a something bad, but out for four days. That's okay. We're taking that. So he's okay. That's the main thing. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. He'll be good for the next game then. And would you believe it? Wheatley makes 48 not out to round out the innings as well. And Davis is gone. Hunter in the slips gets him. 11 to avoid the follow-on. We are 100% got to go for the follow-on if we've got a chance to win this game we have to enforce it and we will do that so we enforce the follow-on going for a second innings win here we leave but we try oh sorry we lead by 160 so they need to get that to uh make us bad again edged in short unlucky unlucky short kurt oh it's a beauty these two have bowled a lot in the first innings, though. Uh, Cohen's going to come on now. Ah, damn. We're going to have to bowl Kai. Just going to have to push the field out for him. That's big over, though. Big over. Renegade's one. 
Get up the Renegades. How good. Very, very good. Against the odds as well. I'm taking that. Underwood to bowl some pace. Jeez. I mean, yes, but hopefully not. No. That session break does give us a bit more time. We just need to get to more of an even playing field. Oh, jeez. I think we're just going to bowl a couple more overs of pace, I think. So Lyman and Kerr will come back again. Outside leg. Uh, just a couple more overs. Just two more. And gone. No on a no ball. Gone on a no ball. Oh, dear. Oh, what have we done? Kerr to Welch. Throw him. All right. Now we're going to Ethan Kai because we can push the field uh, more back. Let me just change the field properly here to push the people back on the boundary. Uh, he still gets a boundary, though. Oh, my gosh. He's getting smashed. 8.5 and over. Wow, that is not good. Swindles is going nuts. Um, yeah. This isn't going well, is it? Outside leg again. Kai to Swindles. Can he be the main man? 70 for none. They've started brilliantly. He's cut. And missed it. He's got another chance here, though. 70 for none this time. To Swindles. Oh, it's need in the gap. My bulb. All right, Swindles has got a boundary. Kai's actually creating opportunities, though. Down leg. Cohen again. And another edge into the leg side for no run. Oh, 50 for Swindles. He's batting well. Kurt comes back into the attack. Kai's not really doing that well here. Going at fives and over. Lyman's going to come back. Um, I don't really know what to do here. Deploy, I reckon. Turn to deploy. 112 for none. If batted beautifully here. This could be taken, though, and it is. The first wicket finally falls. Deploy gets Swindles. Well, catches out Swindles for 66. He's been very good this season, hasn't he? 51 average. Gee, he's actually turning to be a very good player for Le uh, Leicester. Looking like a draw. Looking that way, that's for sure. You never know in these games, though. They do go down to the wire at times. We just have to keep fighting. Cohen and Lyman fighting away to Welch. Bold him! Threw him. Taking it. Thank you. Departs for 38, Welch. The opener's gone. Kimber walks to the crease. Cohen's got him. Lyman with, to Ackerman with slips. That is an absolute beauty. Need a couple of wickets. Absolutely. That's what we're searching for. End of the session, though. Not to be. Lyman and Cohen will continue on. 147 for two. Nick through and gone. He would have been bowled anyway, but Kimber departs for 20. Big moment. Again, has he done that well? No. Hasn't done that well this season. Cohen. To Ackerman. Plays and misses. We're going to bring Kerr into the attack. Problem is, we've got one meeting pace where we're always going to be cooked. But he's gone, though. He's gone. Ackerman to Pearson. What a catch again. Lyman with his third wicket. And his best bowling figures in first-class cricket. What a time to do it. Cohen's going to come back. We're just rotating the paces like crazy right now. Well, There's only one session to go. Kerr to Hill. Has he nicked it? No. 43 runs they lead by. Lyman's going to come back again. 204 for four. Down leg. Uh, get some Underwood pace. I'm No, no. All right, fine. No, it hasn't worked. Okay, one more of it. No. Okay, well, we tried. Didn't really work. New ball's available. We still have to attack because if we... Nah, it's, it's draw now. It's a draw now. It's a draw now. Yeah, we can bowl Underwood all we want. It's a draw. Six runs. Oh, dear. Well, that's no good. Uh, deploy. Gonna have a crack with him. Uh, Lyman will come back. Kai. And Lyman. And that's the draw. Yeah. Match is drawn. Unfortunate because we were on top of the game for a long period of that one, but... Not to be. Not to be. Not to be. 
They batted well in the second innings. Surprised they didn't declare? Yeah, and give us a chase, yeah. But I guess they didn't think that we would... We'd, well, actually, to be fair, they're only like 100 runs ahead, so... They, they just... It just was going to be a draw. After following on, that's probably the best result for them. You have a feeling he's going to be good? Underwood? Has a better economy than Kai, does he? Not quite, but close. They would never win, so why draw? Well, if you can't win, you draw. Underwood, the player of the match, though. 166. Was brilliant with the bat. Of 306 deliveries, now averages 56 in his career. Unbelievable. Very class stuff from him. Scrimshaw was the hero for us as well, but with his third first-class Pfeiffer, but unfortunately got injured late in the piece. Which is a mistake, because they didn't actually think that you could get injured on the last ball of the day. But hey, we learn, and we live. And I think I've got the quote the wrong way around, but you get it. Stickety, what did he take? 5 for 102? Uh, Mousley took... got 97, nice. Bracey got 94. Manus, good to see him there, 72. Haynes got 69 not out and... What the heck? Oh my word. Tom Haynes. Oh my. What? He's got 432 this season. 284 plus 69 not out. All not out. Unbelievable. Jeepers. No wonder that was a draw. That was something. And Gubbins got 135 and 67 as they drew. Another draw here. Jason Roy got 108. Colin de Grondheim got 100 as well. And Roy got another 80. Nice. Durham won as Peter Milan got 35 and 103. We obviously drew. Vasconcelos got 32 and 196 as they won. West Indies versus Sri Lanka. Dan and Jai De Silva got 211. There you go. And, yeah, we've seen that already. Will Roy play 2023 World Cup or retire? I don't know, honestly, Alien. It's up in the air. Depends how he goes next summer. Or in the winter. We are in seventh. We're not actually last. And we haven't... We've only lost one. So that's a good result. That's a good result for us, considering where we've been. Joe Root, top of the runs with first class... Which doesn't make much sense. Oh, no. No, okay. Yeah, it does. 564. Uh, Tom Haynes right up there as well. Where are we on the list? Let's take a look. Underwood, 334. There you go. With 66.8. Does that... Yeah, okay. That That's correct. Because that... You got five in the warm-up game? There you go. He's been scoring poorly, yeah. Doesn't Roy average 40 in ODIs? Yes, he does. Wickets, Akbari, Zubat Akbari, wow, really, look at those figures, wow, okay, interesting, very interesting indeed, Sam Curran, where are we on the wickets, I guess we're nowhere to be seen, I suppose, yeah, no. Butler is good as. Butler can open an ODIs. Yeah, I think they've got Will Jacks, I think, or H Hales probably in the mix. Here we go. So, Ravindra's... No, that was... No, that was April. Maybe... Is he back? No. No, he's gone. Tyson improves his keeping. Tyson improves his keeping again. What? That's crazy. Scrimshaw is out, injured for four days. Yep, we knew that. Oh, is he going to make it? I don't know. He might not make it. Oh, that's a shame. That really stinks. Mujib. He's a T20 only, yeah? Yeah. Uh, do I think Bolt will play in Pakistan? Honestly, I don't see him playing in Pakistan. He probably should, though. But I don't see him playing in Pakistan, unfortunately. Because we're obviously trying to prefer, you know... Yeah. You know how it goes. Come on, Come on, Ethan Hunter, get your opening and T20s thing sorted out, please. 
Scrimshaw is fit to play. Yes. Oh, gee, he's so cooked, though. I don't think we're, he's going to make it. I don't think he's going to make it. Is he? No, he's not going to make it. Shaheen definitely won't. Yep, he's he's obviously already out. Okay. We've got another game against uh, Northamptonshire, or... What are they called again? Northants? St yeah, something like that. Northants, anyway. What have we got? This year. Wilson, 27. Not great. Underwood has been phenomenal. Might be promotion time for Underwood. I think so. He's obviously batting 5 right now, but I think he's got to go above Hunter. They said Shaheen will only take two weeks. He should be right. He might be, because he was he was okay in the final. He, oh, he couldn't bowl, obviously, but he was moving okay. He wasn't like... It wasn't like he didn't return to the park. So, you, you, yeah, you never know. You heard he requested rest three to four months. That could be a thing as well, though, yeah. Depends how his, his rehab goes, I guess. Uh, Ravindra is a backup. Is he? I don't know, actually. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. I think you might be right, uh, Duck, to be fair. Do you know that Moon smells like cheese and gunpowder? I don't know what that means. Not that I've gone there. <laughs> I see. Try Young. All right, let's go through some sick limit stats here. Let's have a look. What have we got? Wagstaff, 100 not out. And zero not out. Okay, Young got another 50. Microsoft got 100, that's interesting. Where's Aya? Got a T2000. Who's he playing for? No, actually, who's he playing for? Huh. Not Delhi. Wait! What? No. Oh, he's played for the Renegades. It's so awesome. Triss I on the Renegades. Get up. Wagstaff the go. <laughs> yeah, Wagstaff did get 100. He did. Tyson? Nope. Hughes? No. Is bowling? Meh. 29. Four foot. Shane at least won't be playing against England. New Zealand. We'll have to see how it goes. But playing uh, less than 1%. I don't see it from playing here, yeah, no. Two, you don't want to rush players back, especially like he just got, he had another knee thing and now he's got the other knee a problem. So it's like, you don't want to rush him back. Our batters definitely have to think about what we're doing with our batters here. Someone is happy that I is playing for the Renegades. Yeah, why not? How good? All right, you're saying we should try Young. We probably should and we should probably drop Wilson. Is that what you're saying? I do want to keep backing him. To be fair, but yeah, he has kind of dropped off a little bit, which is disappointing. I don't see any other changes really being made. Indians aren't allowed to play in the leagues. Unrealistic game. Hey, look, I'd rather it be that way in this game. Makes it interesting. Um, first class. 52. Really? He averages well with the bat, though, Cohen. That's what's going for him. 31. That's very good from Lyman, though. 26. Sadler, 64. Connors is bowling well without bowling badly. So, maybe. Maybe. He's an option. How did he go last year? Pretty good, actually. Who's going to replace Scrimshaw? No one. He's in. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. He's in, but he's not fit. I don't want to cook him. We need him for the rest of the season. We've we, he's already got physio, but he can't he can't play this game. So we'll probably bring in Connors. I think we could bring Sadler, but I think it's too early. Yeah, did okay. I think it's too early. I think I want to bring Connors back. See how he goes. Rest him this game. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, he'll get some rest. 
Much deserved rest. Wilson's going to play seconds. Un uh, Wagstaff probably won't play. We could be interesting. Like, I know we want to stick behind Ethan Hunter. Oh, he did just get 84, to be fair, right? We didn't bat again, did we? Yeah, that's a good point. We could play Wagstaff and and replace Ethan Hunter, make him play seconds, but I don't know. I've, I'm not a massive fan of Wagstaff, I have to be honest. His sickling stats are not amazing. So, I'm not sure. Stick with Hunter? I think so. Can't say that about Wagstaff. Well, I might have just done that. Look, he's still on the team, but yeah. Also, Ethan Kai's kind of letting us down. I hate to say it. Uh, do we drop Ethan Kai? I know. I've got to get permission for this one. Sam Curran's better than Tom Curran? Well, yeah. Kai's to be dropped. What do we think? Mark what? You're on saying drop Kai. Sad moment. Sad moment. Wish him all the best in seconds. Please, Ethan Kai. Give us something in seconds. Please. You've got to. Give us something in seconds. Bring in Digweed. Well, he's not on this team, so we can't. Um, I think... Does he... Actually, have just well... So I'm going to give him a bat and see how he goes. How did he go last year with the bat? 15. Yeah, about the same then. Okay, okay. Gee, that's a very good first class average, isn't it? It's better to go get some form in seconds rather than pushing him here for no result. Yeah. Fingers crossed he goes well then. Tell you what, Kerr has been a very good find for us. He's been very good. Like, 43.30 has been phenomenal. It's actually 48.28. It's been very good. From uh, Hayden Kurt. Very good find. Very good signing. Thought he, I thought he was going to be a bit more dicey than that, but he's been very consistent. Honestly, I think that's probably it for changes. Any other changes, we reckon? Yeah, I can't really bring away stuff right now. Kerr is your Stokes. Yeah, he's doing very well in that role. So I'm very happy with how he's going. And with that, or is anyone else low fitness? No. Uh, only Mujib isn't here. All right, we play on. We play on. Young is on first class debut. I did actually forget that. We've won the toss here. Probably got a bowl, right? Look at the conditions. Like, he gets better to bat in the second day. We're going to bowl. Very risky. We've got Will Young in their lineup as well. Yeah, he's got a very, very class record. You reckon bat? I just think it's going to be the best time in the game to bowl now. G'day, Bo. How are we doing? How is things going? Welcome in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Do we bowl? I think I want to bowl here, though. It's going to be the best time in the game to bowl. After the clouds are gone, it's going to be good to bat. Bowl first. Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to go for it. Fingers crossed. You'll have to toil. I, we'll have to toil either way, I think. So we might as well toil now whilst we get a little bit of help from the conditions versus toiling later where we get zero help from the conditions. Oh, it's an edge for four. An edge for four. You'd hate to see it. Another Karen brother. Yeah, there is actually a third Karen. It's Ben Karen, yeah. He just has a more average first class record, if you will. So that's why no one really talks about him. 40 for none, which is unfortunate for him, to be fair. But, and he goes. Oh, there you go. Gone. 20 off 43. You're currently doing your, chest, your test championships in Cricket 22 by simming ball by ball. Really? Bo, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome commitment. How's it going? Like, who's winning? And who are you playing as? He's a real player. Yeah, yeah, he's a real player. Okay, well, apparently nobody else knew that. But yeah, he is a real player. Hayden Kerr gets him early, though. 
for 20. Or semi-early to get a start, but he's gone now, though. We've just got to be careful with our cooking our bowlers here. We've just talked about cooking our previous bowler, so let's not do that again. Connors and Cohen. Let's see how these two respond before lunch. It's a crucial period for them both, but they're not responding the way we wanted to. You thought he was AI generated. Oh, there you go. Yeah. He played for Kent. Really? Yeah. You're you not playing? AI is? Alright, but well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that, but like, who's, is any, who's winning in the competition overall, though? Who are you sim- well, who are you simming as? Are you simming everyone, or are you just... Oh, you thought you said... Yeah. Oh, he plays for this team. Right, right, right. Gotcha. Um, and clouds arrive, so Kerr's throwing the ball. Connors will keep the ball. He's bowling very economically. Vasconcelos just got 200, or close to, and he's gone for 44. Big moment. What do you get? 196. Gone. Huge moment. South Africa 5 for 148 versus Afghanistan. Who's got runs so far? Bo? Middle of the second session. Nice. Why don't you just watch it then, Bo? If you're going to simulate it ball by ball, you might as well watch it, right? Or do you not have time to watch it, to be fair? Because it does take a while. Will Young. Yep, it is Will Young. He does play for North Ants in real life. Yep, and he comes in at number 4. So this is a big moment in the match. We have to get him early. And so far, we haven't managed to do so. Early days yet. Lyman's going to come back. Cohen to Young. He's got him! Cohen gets Will Young. You beauty. Sorry, Will Young. You've got to go. Makes 62 and 27 on out last game. But he's gone for just five. And his, what's his record like? Yeah, this season he's not been very good. Will Young did captain the side in real life as well. You're currently, st you're currently stopped for day. But okay, right, nice, nice, bro. Hey, Gregor, Gregor, uh, uh, Gregor, is it Gregor? I'm, I apologize about getting your name wrong, but thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much. Really means a lot. Will Young is gone. That's a big moment. Is it Charlie Thurston? Thurs Thurston? I'm very bad at names. New Zealand have bye. Uh, oh, New Zealand have a bye. Okay, right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, let's just keep going here. You have. You love to see a New Zealand getting. No! no. New Zealand are getting out early. Surely not. It's a sad times. Sad times. I'm, I'm happy, but I'm crying inside also. Ah, yes. Proctor's gone, though. Would love to see Will Young playing in Pakistan. Why? Why, do you think he's not going to do well? Is that what you're saying? Ten teams, two groups, four tests each with a bye. All right. Nice. Nice, Bo. That's awesome that you're doing that. Yeah, really big fan of that, because I think that's the sort of stuff I've done a lot of before, and it's good fun. Really good fun. Um, Lyman without a wicket so far, and he's got one. 133 for 5. We're on top right now. We've just kept chipping away at this middle order after they got a very good start. So this is good from Lyman. He's got his first. Burnham edges off to the slips as well. Welcome in, JF. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Goodness me. Poles galore here. No conditions will sue him. He can make he can make himself permanent opener after a series here. Oh, the condition. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nice. That's awesome, Al Al uh, Alan. Yeah, 100%. Hope he does well. I'm a big fan of Will Young. His technique's very good. I think he's one to keep long term. Oh, Duck. Thank you for the one. Here's 1.25% of your paycheck from this week. Well, look, Duck, no matter how little it is, it all it all counts. Thank you very much, Duck. That's that's amazing. You're a, you're a legend. Legend of the channel, as per usual. Will will turn up for Australia vs... Who will turn up? No one will turn up? No one will turn up for Australia... 
Are you watching, you mean? Are you going to watch versus, uh, Australia versus England? That would be good. Good to watch. Uh, Kerr's back, actually. I forgot we've actually got him in use here. Connor's bowled very well without taking a wicket. And throw him. Another one. This has been very good bowling display here. Tom Taylor with Nathan Buck, the 32-year-old. Jeez, got lots of experience, that's for sure. Can we round out the day with the wicket? Edged. Beautiful! What a take in the slips. Get around it. What? From Scotland. Thank you very much. What a take. Connors gets his first in the last over. Can you get another? Edged through. It's dropped. No. No. T on day one. Oh, it's not the end of the day yet. We're good then. We're good. We've still got chances to take more wickets. Under the clouds. Kerr to Glover. Pulled and gone. Nine down. Very, very good. Connors might have to start permanently. Make Duploy main spinner. Yeah, not oh, ideally not. Oh, no one will turn up Australia versus England. Oh, the ODIs. Gotcha. But I understand now what you're saying. Yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah, yeah. Australia also struggling in ODIs? Yeah. Well, New Zealand are playing like three days' time. I don't know how many will watch that. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Kerr's got four wickets. Connors, can he stop him getting five? Yes, he can, because it's an absolute screamer. We've taken our chances and... Ethan Hunter, what a grab. Diving away. It was less of an edge more than the, than it was out of the middle of the bat. And would you believe it? 183 all out after they were what? Two for 111. What is that? So they've lost eight for... Hang on, let me do some maths here. Eight for 72 they've lost. That is quite incredible in this innings. Four for Kerr. His best first class, well, nearly his best first class bowling performance. Very good. That's very, very good. England will use their second team versus Australia. I mean, most of them are over here right now in Australia. Well, over here isn't over there, I guess, in Australia right now. So that, I guess, yeah, that's fair enough, right? Why not 83? We've got to bat under clouds, though. Do I change it up? I reckon we go Goodleman and we go what? And this is crazy. But it's just, I'm trying to protect, just a little bit, protect our opener and Young. I'm just trying to protect him under the clouds. So I'm going to try it. Let's try it. We've got nothing to lose here. We've got nothing to lose. Let's try it. Let's see how it goes. We've got an Aaron 22. You reckon the Hayden Kerr opener? That's true. We could. I just want to protect. The main person I want to protect is Young, if I can. Goodleman. Nice. What? Opening up for the first time. How will he go here? Don't expect too much of him. He gets dropped by short leg for naught. What happens if one of them gets out? Then I probably just send in Young anyway. I'm just trying to give him a little bit of, uh, I guess, support in terms of he doesn't have to go out in the hardest conditions of the whole game on debut. Sort of thing. Straight away, that is. That's probably out. Yeah, it is too. I thought it was going down leg, but it's... Nah, it's smashing into middle in the end. Goodman gone for eight. I could push up Hayden Kerr, but I will send out Sam Young on debut. And this is his first first class ball. And he's just played it out for back foot nicely. What is he good against? Let's have a look. Hmm, look at that. Very defensive. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Got Young. He's gone. <laughs> well, I tried to protect him. It didn't really help. He did get off the mark, to be fair, but didn't get much more than that. He did work it away through mid-wicket for one, but gone for one. Duploy walks to the middle now, and what is still there? And now he's gone. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, this is going disastrously. Oh gosh, um, do we send an Underwood under these conditions? Yeah, well, yeah, this isn't going well, is it? 
Uh, do we... I don't know. You reckon we send Underwood? Alright. Yeah, let's do it. He's our best bat. Lovely. Great straight drive off the back foot. Beautiful. Gets off the mark with the boundary. Duploy's gone in the slips. It's all going up. What? Oh! I was like, why didn't he give it out? Because you normally see the umpire give it out. Oh my gosh. You wouldn't believe it. Give it a no ball. It's a no ball. I can't believe it. What have you done? Oh. That is a stream moment if I've ever seen one. Wow. I can't believe it. I thought he was gone for sure. But he's just stuck his arm out at the last moment. The umpire look there. There you go. Big no ball. Wow, wow. Could have had us four down. Duploy survives. Lovely. Classy from Underwood through mid-wicket for four. Oh. What a good watch he is at the moment. Off the back foot. Four more. Duploy finally gets off the mark. 36 for three. Nice. Threw him it on for four. 40 for three. Oh, and he's gone. Late in the day. He's nicked off to slip and he has departed. We've got 16 minutes left. So I am going to send in Connors. I'm going to send in Connors late in the piece just to see it out. Underwood on strike. Dabs it away through the slips for four. Very good. You will indeed watch Pakistan versus England and probably Pakistan versus New Zealand too. Yeah, well, that. Oh, in the stadium. Ah, that should be a good watch though. 100%, yeah. No good, yeah. Late wickets are not helping. Two overs to go. Connors. And he's gone. He's just chipped it back. Ethan Hunter will have to walk out to wrap up the day. Underwood, two balls to go, and he's knocked him over. 52 for six. Oh, imagine if we batted first. Wow. Wow. Imagine if we batted first. What an absolute calamity. Oh my. That's a demolition. Wow, wow. Alright. Good luck to the players now. We've got Ethan Hunter still, Hayden Kurt, and Pearson. But we're a long way behind this game. Full toss down the ground from Kerr. That's four, though. Hayden Kerr, 100 from Bo. Gee, I tell you what, that's a call and a half. And he's dropped on four. He's dropped on seven. Should have been out. Short leg drops it. 70 for six. Through his legs. Swing and a miss. That's the luck you need for 100. It is. Early doors, though. Oh, shot and a half. Couple of bounces for four. 81 for six. Four more through square leg. Nathan Buck into the attack now. Got a lot of experience and he bowls, Kurt. The prediction for 100 is gone. He goes for 22. A start, but he's gone. when We needed so much more from him. Pearson. Beautiful. Through the covers for four. We need a very good knock out of him today. Oh, Hunter through mid-wicket now for four. I tell you what, Hunter will be very hungry as well because he's sitting behind Underwood now in the batting order. He's going to want a bit of a promotion again. So we'll see what he produces today. Pearson as well. He hasn't had a great season to start with. That's down leg. Down leg. Yep. That's good. Just down leg. All good, Bo. Catch you later. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a good one. Catch you around. Also, for those that have, haven't actually watched today's video, make sure you go and watch that at some point as well because it is a very good one in terms of it sets up the next season for the Melbourne Red side. If you haven't already seen it on the channel, it came out today. So definitely go check that out as well. I thought I'd just point that out there. Nice from Pearson. Through square leg for four. But Jack Burnham has bowled 14 overs of first class cricket and he's coming in for a trundle from nowhere. Four runs. Five off the over. 
Sanderson. Nice. Through a mid wicket for four. 128 for seven. Need to keep this recovery going though. Lunch on day two. What a low scoring game this has been so far. Pitch is going to definitely flatten out. So we just have to keep fighting hard here. Pearson. Through a mid wicket for four more. Very good here. Nice. Moves to 35. Hunter. He fought hard, but he's gone. Trapped in front for 100 balls for just 110 for 28. Finally gone. Going to force Pearson's hand a bit and try and get him to move things along here. Cohen. Edged and taken. Gone for a 10 ball duck. Lyman walks to the middle. Pearson's going to have to take strike. Down the ground. That's going to be four, though. Reckon it's a bad pitch? I probably will agree, actually. It's a worse pitch than it looks. Swing and a miss. Playing a miss. It says good average, but yeah, it's not playing that way, is it? Asian taken. And Lyman's gone for a duck. Pearson gets 41 not out, which is unlucky. Not what you want to see. They lead by 36, though. This game, well and truly, very close. On the line. And even though it's disappointing we didn't get as many runs as we wanted to, this is still an opportunity to actually get some quick wickets and put some more pressure back on the North Ant side here to try and chase something in the last day when the pitch might just flatten out a bit. Kurt to Curran. Playing a miss. Nah, nothing so far though. We've started well. Vasconcelos edged and taken to the one slip. Beautiful from Connors. Raps, welcome in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Gone for 23 Vasconcelos again. That's a big moment. He's in some, well, fresh off 196. Proctor to the middle. Nine minutes to go before the break. We're going to bring Cohen into the attack. To Proctor. Down leg, down leg. Come on, Cohen. Not to beat. T before day two. 102 is the lead. So one for 102 looks in command from their sort of th side of things right now. Curran definitely the source of most of their runs. To Proctor and he's bowled him. Proctor's gone for just 8 of 25. Uh, will I stream Cricket 22 tomorrow or not? Raps, the answer is probably yes. If you haven't already, make sure you go and vote as well on my poll that I dropped today on the channel because... I'm looking at streaming either one of the World Test Championship or the five-day batting challenge moving forwards. And most people want to see the World Test Championship. So that is scenes to see. And also, just want to shout out, we've got two subscribers on the channel whilst we've been streaming today. So thank you all for the support for that, because that is awesome. It just brings us closer and closer to the 1,000 milestone mark, which we're going for. You need to get them out quick. I wouldn't... Yeah, yeah. Quick, semi-quick, yeah. Thank you, Raps, for that. Thank you for voting. I do appreciate that. Every, you know, feedback on the channel is much appreciated because it just means I can understand what you guys want to see so that I can deliver what you guys want to watch. Uh, Lyman's going to come into the attack now. 92 for 2. Current swings and misses. Makes a 50. His 13th first class 50. 93 for two. Young. Will Young, of course, makes three at the moment. We want to get him early. And we need Curran out. Not to be. Lyman to Young. Plays and misses. Let's throw, let's throw what? A, a lifeline here. Nice. Lyman to Young. Edged. Taken. At second slip. Bad news for New Zealand fans. Will Young gone for 13. Good news for us in this game, though. Catch you later, Will Young. Taking that. Very, very good. What is going to bowl here to Curran? Can he break through? No. It's close, though. It's close, isn't it? You have a question for me? Yeah. You want to start a cricket 22 career mode, but you don't know which country to play for. Can you suggest a country? Um, Look, I'll... Where are you from, Raps? Uh, that's where I would go, mainly. Uh, main, okay, go where the players 
go to a place where you know the players because then it makes it more fun to interact with the domestic teams and the national team and so on and so forth otherwise if you don't know then go to somewhere major like australia or england because you can play in the ashes or you know i'm just saying i gotta chuck new zealand on that list because i'm from new zealand um but go somewhere like Australia or England mainly. If you if you don't really know, go there because their domestic systems are quite strong. They've got licensed players. Yeah, you'll find it good there. That's my suggestion for you. Hope that helps. Uh, Raps, let me know. Yeah. Uh, Lyman will bowl again. What? Gets hit for a four. But he's creating chances, which we want to see for a spinner. Again, another chance here. This is very good here. Come on, what? Yes! Bold him! Watt gets Thurston for 11 off 10. I tell you, left arm spinners, there's something special about him. I just love a good left arm spinner. And he's got another one! He's got the main man! This is a big moment! There you go. 73 off 114. Curran's gone. Watt's got two wickets. Huge. Absolutely huge. You're from South Africa, but you really like New Zealand players and some of the Australian players? Yeah, then then absolutely go for New Zealand or Australia, yeah. Or what you could do is say South Africa, and I think you'll get contract offers down the road for playing in New Zealand and Australia. That's also what you could do. Although I don't know if they clash or not. They might. But anyway, yeah, just kind of see, see how you feel anyway. Go with where you've, you've got the most players that you know. Where you're going to have the most fun with the game. 100%. Come on, Watt. He's got two wickets. Good to see. He's flying through the overs as well here. We've got two overs left. So let's bring Cohen back. And then we'll bring Kerr for the last over back. End of day two. 212 is the lead though. Getting a little bit out of hand. Uh, who's taking wickets? Well, Watt's got two wickets, but he's going at fours. Let's go Lyman. So the New Zealand domestic teams are not licensed. Some of the players are, because New Zealand, the New Zealand national team is, but the domestic teams are not. No. Yeah. Connors to Burnham. Is that... Uh, it's out in a no ball. Well, that's no good. Connors to Keeg. Edged and taken by Pearson, the keeper. Thank you very much. Gone for 39. Big moment. Gets a second wicket. We can now break through, I guess. Let's go at both ends, but not to be. Oh, he's just lobbed it. He's just lobbed it. I can't believe that's an actual edge. I really can't. Duploy takes a very good, very good take. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Love to see it. Another wicket for Connors. Nathan Buck. Buck hits a boundary. Swings and misses, though. Got three wickets. Connors. Lyman to burn him, and he's bowled him. Okay, we're getting back into this match slowly here. 253 is all we need. Lyman's got, got two. Make that three. Beautiful. Gone for a duck. This is big. Uh, what type of player would you recommend? Like an all-rounder or... Batting all-rounder or wicket keeper. Um, the only problem is if you're an all-rounder in test matches is you bo end up bowling a lot. Especially if you're a batting all-rounder for some reason. It's kind of weird like that. Um, but otherwise, just the batting is probably where the main fun is in the game. But probably you should just be an all-rounder just so that you can see if you like bowling. Because you might like bowling better than uh, some others do. Lyman's got three. Connor's got three. One of them could get four. Swing and a miss. Neither of them could get four either. It's an edge for four. No good. Oh, he's going to get cooked here, so we can't. Cohen's going to come into the attack. No. Can he get Sanderson? No. It's an edge for four. Goodness me. Kurt's going to come back. Someone needs the last wicket here. Pete, please, please. Sanderson. Nope. 248. Edged and taken. Okay, there it is. 285 we need to win. In a lot of time. Don't let this do a cricket 22. 
Okay, there, yeah, 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 as in the, the tail wags. Uh, we're going to select the openers, and we're going to make sure they're proper this time. All right. Sam Young will get another crack here in the second dig. Goodleman swings and misses. That's not a great start. You want to almost be like a Finn Allen? Lockie Ferguson combined player. Wow. There you go. Um, then, yeah, 100% be an all-rounder. Yeah, for sure. Be a fast bowling all-rounder who bats top order, I guess. Yeah, for sure. Or you can just bat in the middle order and whack it. Either way, yeah. See how you enjoy the game, for sure. Goodleman. Early into his innings. Nice. Through mid workout for four. Good. Outside leg. Not a problem. Four minutes. And we survive till lunch. Young of four. He's sticking around. Goodleman. Nice. Through mid workout. Very good. It's going to be another boundary. Moves to 19 now. Getting himself stuck in. Sam Young on eight. There it is, his first first class boundary. Very good to see. Uh, when's the stream ending? Probably another 20 odd minutes, Josh. I would want to say. Uh, but do you think you should play for New Zealand? Uh, then if you if you know more of the New Zealand players, then probably raps, yeah, for sure. Because you'll see Lockie Ferguson and Finn Allen and stuff in domestic cricket, yeah. Up, Sam Young. Yeah, get around it. Um, 41 for none. Nice. I uh, won't really say Alien for now. Oh, okay. We're going to up Goodleman. And Young. Okay, they're both set in here. We've got 62 for none. Full toss. Four. Nice from Young. Very good. We're going to up Goodleman. Well, we can up them both, actually. They're in set here. Yeah. Ho hopefully one day, for sure. He's YouTube for the living, surely. Nice. Oh, this is good batting. The field started to spread here. Now we're just scoring runs freely. You want to start making YouTube videos, but you want some advice on how to get started? Honestly, just get started. <laughs> Uh, it takes a long time to learn the craft of this thing. It's it's weird like that. Just get started for sure, Raps, you know. Derbyshire will win. we still got 200 to win though. Still a long way to go. Oh, I tell you what. He's got 50, but... <laughs> Welcome in, Lily. Yep. Uh, James doesn't want to admit he's a professional cricket captain. I like that. Professional cricket captain. Fingers crossed. One day, hopefully, for sure. That'd be good. Let's just keep going. We're just going to keep going. 50 for Goodleman. Third this year. Yeah, solid. Solid performance. Not too great. Not too bad. Let's just make them settle back in into the session. Nice. Good, good stuff here. 117 for none. This is a great opening stand to just give us a platform to launch from here. Uh, yep, I have been to uni, yep. Alien, yep. Um, do I want to push? Not really. We've got a full day, right? Am I right on this? I'm just checking, right? Day four. Here, we've got a full day. We're good, we're good. We don't need to push then. 122 for none. Outside the line. Not a problem. 125 for none. Young gets another reach, but it's four. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, yeah. Moves to 49. Can he bring up a 50 on first class? Dabu, he does. Get around it. Got one in the first innings, but makes 50 in the second to make up for it. Beautiful. Well done, Sam Young. How good. 22 years of age. He's really struggled at the one day format, but he's made his top score in his career so far. With 50. Very, very good. Good to see. Well deserved. 153 to win. Nice from Young. Flicked away through mid wicket for four. We're not going too... F We're probably going quite slow, but to be fair, I'm just going to let, let us accumulate the runs. Young is better than Wilson. Well, he's proving to be in this innings. 
That's two boundaries in that over, though. 147 for none. An edge, but short. Down the ground from Young. That's four more. 150 runs for the partnership. Good. Get around it. Get around it. Incredible. Wow, that's crazy. You have a whole day. You can bat slower if you want. Ah, uh, we're doing. We're batting fine, honestly. Duck, we're doing good. Batting conditions are very nice. Yeah, exactly right, Lily. We've managed to just time everything perfectly here in terms of the innings and where we're in, where we've ended up batting. You want to know if you pick a domestic team in New Zealand, who should you pick to say play with Finn Allen or Lockie Ferguson? Uh, Finn Allen's playing for Wellington. Lockie Ferguson's playing for Auckland. Uh, or should you play against both of them? You sh no, you should just probably play with one of them, to be honest. That would probably good, be good fun. From not being able to win a single one to this, yeah, amazing transformation. Uh, the prof I'm not the professional cricket captain, surely not. That'd be cool, but not yet. Surely not. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an alright cricket captain. I'm doing alright. 158 for none. Oh, Young through the covers. Gorgeous. This partnership's just insane. Just, it just must be so demoralizing. No wickets down. Crazy scenes. 110 to win. Up in the air, but it's in the gap. It's four more from Goodman. Moves into the 90s for the first time. This season, I think, as well. That's cut away from Young. Beautiful shot. These two are batting like a dream right now. The session's nearly over, though. Three overs to go before the day rounds out. Young. Edges, but it's safe. Goodman on 98. Two balls to go. He's cut it away and he's made the ton. There you go. What a way to end the day. 102 off 221. A 24th century for Goodman. A first this year. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. One of our more experienced players this year and he stood up in this game. Get around it. Absolute scenes for him. Ends day three. What a stand. 201 for none. This is our England chase 378. Yeah, I can see it now. Jeepers. Stomping. What an innings. What a partnership. Incredible. Haven't got the job done yet. Still 78 to go. Young into the 90s as they've taken the new ball. 97 for Young. 56 to win. 50 to win. Gee, nice. He's in the 90s. Ooh, it's down leg. It's down leg. It's down leg. We're good. We're good. We are very good. Who would you recommend to play with to give you a challenge? Um, Hang on a moment. Is that the 100? Is that it? He's done it. He's done it. You beauty. Sam Young on first class debut makes a hundred. Would you believe it? What an innings. Fantastic. Absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful. How many? They've bowled 90 overs at us without taking a single wicket. That's how good we've been. We've been just unbelievable. Poor first innings, but he's proved himself to be a good batter in the second. Absolutely. How good. First, first class 100 in his first game. Beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. New ball taken. You have to get your openers there to it. Just going to keep going. 126 for Goodleman. And Young hits it leg side. That's four. I don't know what we need to win, but it's probably closing in. Oh, no. It's gone. Goodman departs. Bowled through the gate for 126. A good innings. What an innings. Brilliant. You have to say, brilliant. 126 off 296. We're going to bring Stanley Underwood to the crease. Just to give him an experience here. Give him another bat. No pressure scenario. Young. To end out the session, drives through extra cover. That is glorious. Absolutely glorious to go to lunch. 12 to win. Brilliant. Can he close it out? 10 to win. 
with Underwood at the other end. Six to win. Oh, he deserved the not out. He deserved it. Gone for 120 off 326. Oh, he deserved it. But anyway, you get that. Hunter will walk to the crease now. <laughs> I'm just... Duploy's getting bumped down for the youngsters. Three to win. Two to win. One to win this game. And it's going to be a leg by to finish things off. Beautiful. What a chase. What a partnership. Brilliant stuff. Seriously unbelievable. Eight wicket win. Incredible. That's how you chase... A total like we were 285 looked very good Wow guess to walk off alone bat in the air not so bad. That's true Lily. That's very very true Absolutely gets to soak it in what an innings from these two fantastic That's so bizarre how does Tom Taylor get player of the match How Who knows Who knows there you go. He gets five wickets. He gets player of the match. I don't know how, but anyway. Uh, who in New Zealand domestic cricket would you say? Five to aces for a challenge. Oh, aces. Gotta be aces, Raps. I'm struggling with aces 100%, so go for that. Yeah. Unlucky we didn't do it with 10 wickets in hand, but hey, we got the job done. Those two were phenomenal. Outstanding. And we finally get a win. We closed the gap immensely. Look at that. Beautiful. What a game. Brilliant stuff. Very, very good stuff. And I think the Leicestershire. Leicester managed to win as well. Let's just go through to the results before we go anywhere else. Oh my word. They won by one wicket. And they needed... Eight runs to do it, and they did it. Carlson, 136. You've never understood how player of the match gets given out in this game? Yeah, I don't either. Sometimes it's perfect. Sometimes it's like, what the heck's that? You have a Cricket 22 video for the best career settings? Yeah, Raps, yeah. Yeah, I do. Go check it out and see if you like it anyway. It probably is a bit... Well, it actually explains everything. Yeah, 100%. Go check it out. Dan Lawrence gets player of the match for his 57, not out. Six for four. Gee, there's a few six was there. All right. Allsop, 101. Okay. Kane Williamson playing for Lancashire. Angelo Matthews, 124. Pereira got 201 for Durham. Alex Lee's 173. Wow, there you go. Keepers get player of the match for taking five plus catches. Really? Didn't know that. There you go. Is that in this game, you mean? Is that right? A player of the match gets team wickets for 90 in a winning cause. And the player of the match goes to a batter and the losing team who scores 56 and 84. <laughs> yeah, a bit strange, isn't it? As our alley got 61 and 95. Okay. A bit like this, right? Like, it's like Bamba got eight wickets in a victory, but somehow Azza Ali gets it in a loss. Bit strange. Same with Tom Taylor. Like, I understand giving it to a losing team player if they actually played, like, unbelievably well, but, like, Tom Taylor didn't do unbelievably well. I play on PC, Alien, yeah. It's just strange. Australia need 81 to win in their recent test match. Nice. Oh, look at that. Zaya al Haq made 100 against Australia. Lloyd Pope is playing a test match. Wow. And averages 31 as well. Actually 24 this year. That's actually his first game. Wow, that's something. Pereira is a future star. Yeah. You still play DBC 14? Hey, DBC14 is not to be ridden off. It's a great game. Wow, that's some big scores. 126, 106. And again. We play on. Whoa, there's a lot going on here. So Wilson's actually out injured anyways. Uh, with a stomach bug. That's unlucky. 
Mujib's been selected by Afghanistan to play test matches. I'm not sure what he's playing exactly. He's playing a second test. Alright, okay. Okay, all the best to him then. No Rashid Khan. What is with that? Where's Rashid Khan at? Why is he not there? That seems weird. Surely, what? That's bizarre. Is he playing at all? Surely, right? He's not even playing. That is so strange. Bowlers? I can't, I don't think you're going to be able to see it here. They don't play enough. I don't know. That's strange, isn't it? Would have thought Rashi Khan would be up there, but apparently not. Apparently not. Tyson improves his keeping again. Gee, that's like three times he's improved his keeping this year. That's, inc that's incredible. Underwood. Look at what's going on. The form of some of these players are just hitting it off all of a sudden. It's a shame because Hunter needs to just get his batting thing done so he can stop opening in T20s. But no, he's he's got poor form, so we can't actually do it right now. Oh, well. Unlucky. Are uh, we going to end the stream soon? Yes, we will. Wraps, yeah, for sure. Within the next 5 to 10 minutes, yes. Um, Who needs bowling? Yep. Pearson. He's doing better with the... Ah, uh, with the bat. Where's our... Oh, Wiggins has it. Why is that? Is that because he can play? No, he can't. He's T20, right? Yeah. We're not about to do T20s, are we? We might be. I doubt it, though. Hang on. No. Count again. Why don't we get to replace injured players in the World Cup when we're in the middle of a series like Real Life? It really sucks. Yeah, yeah. Join us for a Rocket League session one day? I oh, yeah, definitely could, Duck. Definitely could. Uh, not too bad at Rocket League. Yeah. A, a good game. I really love Rocket League. Really good fun. Gee, our batting is certainly coming along this season. That's for sure, isn't it? Even Wagstaff scoring runs on the side. He's got 100 again. Doing all right. Wilson got another 50. So, after being dropped... You did bite back a little bit with a 50 there. And again, Tyson gets a 50 as well. Pfeiffer, but for 180 runs, it's a lot. Scrimshaw's back again. Now, look at that. Connors, what did he produce? Two very good innings with the ball. Sam Young should get another game. Oh, easily. Well, it doesn't matter, actually, because he will, because Wilson's injured anyway. Yeah, so he will. Reese has not done very good in the second limit stuff. Four for 36, though, is all right. So, yeah, Duck, he will anyway. He'll stay on. Uh, Watt will definitely stay on. And Lyman's doing very well. He's got seven, 17 wickets at 29, 25... Kerr's got... Yeah. We're really starting to put together a decent team here. Cohen's got an average of 44 with the ball, but he produces an average of 18 with the bat, which really helps out. So I don't actually know how Scrimshaw gets in. Kerr's the fourth pacer. Yes. One, two, three, four. Yes. Yeah. We could actually drop Cohen... No, we kind of need him. We kind of need him. Yeah, we kind of need him, uh, an extra bowling option. Yeah. Yeah, we do need an extra bowling option there. The question is, how does Scrimshaw fit back in again? Because he got... He did 85, but... He just took five... For, he's, he's taken two fives in a row. I know somehow don't see him back in again. Scrimshaw over Cohen? Yeah, but does that weaken our batting? I suppose it does, but we move on. Kerr looks like he could be a gun. He already is a gun, Lily. He's crazy, yeah. Oh, let's check how... Um, he didn't do any good. How did Kai do? 
Ooh, Kai actually did okay. Not too bad. 4 for 32 and 2 for 48. Scrumshaw sure averages 11 to 15. I guess you're right. Yeah, that's not much of an increase or decrease, right? Well, it's actually 18 of, of Cohen, though. But I suppose you're right. Trade Harara? Well, I would, but I don't think that the team's going to let him go. The other team that has him won't let him go. Sadler did well in the second game. Let's just check everyone's averages. There you go. Kai's averaging 13. 16. 36. 28. 35. 58. That's incredible. Do we... Are we sticking by Hunter? How's his first class going? It's so average. It's, it's average. Like, I know it can go up, but, like, we would like him to be better than that for sure, wouldn't we? Maybe it's time we give him a go in seconds. Which sucks because I don't want to drop both my Ethans, but it doesn't matter too much knowing that they'll come back at any time anyway once they do well. It just, I don't want to drag Ethan Hunter on knowing that he's a better player than he's playing to the level that he's playing at right now and that he probably just needs to go away, work on a bit of confidence to come back. Plus, Wagstaff's in top form, so it's a good opportunity to give him a crack whilst he's got the form behind him, and if his form drops off, then we can bring Hunter back. I think that's my logic, anyway. It sucks, because again, long term, we want Hunter over Wagstaff, but I don't think it's that big a deal anyway, I guess, because we've got Young, we've got Underwood, we've got Kerr, we've got Scrumshaw Lyman, we've got plenty of other bowlers who are developing around the place who are going to get a lot of games and a lot of experience going forward, which, are gonna, which is going to help them. Who was Newton? Um, I don't know. Are you talking about a New Zealand player? Or why? Oh, you mean... You mean Isaac Newton? Why was he so famous? Wasn't it for his physics? He's the guy that came up with the physics stuff. The gravity, right? I want to say the gravity. I, I imagine if I've got this wrong now. Now I just look like a fool. Hopefully that's right. Yeah, Newton, the guy that found out about gravity. Okay, I'm right. I'm right. We're good. I'm safe. Why has he made students... <laughs> Look, it's not his fault. They just like to do that. I don't know. How many runs has he made? Yeah. Scrimshaw? Yeah, he did make an 85, but not much else other than that. Um, I think, I think we'll continue on for, I don't know, I think we, we can probably do a, a little bit more. Although I wouldn't, I'm not sure we should actually get started, I'm not sure. You'd like to say that Newton's principles are the easiest in physics? Yeah, fair enough. Let's just take a look at the domestic table though, just to see what we've got coming up ahead. Uh, internationals we don't play. County Championship. So we've got... This game here, 12th, 19th. We do have a big gap here. So I guess we've got two more games of county championship before we play in the Vitality Blast, I believe. Yeah, the 27th, we play Warwickshire in our opening game. Before we get into the Blast stuff. If we actually had to look at our team, I know we... It's not the T20 stuff yet, but who would we actually play in the T20 stuff? Because, well, I guess... Tris Iyer, where is he playing? Is he playing right now? Let me check, actually. Internationals. India. No. It just says he's playing internationally without saying where. Like he's... Yeah, okay, that's strange. Like he's got the international symbol, right? Yeah, that's strange. But anyway, so if it... Oh, there you go. He's currently playing for another team, so he cannot be selected. That's a shame. A genuine spin ball on your side can be the biggest difference in this game. Very rare, but can be effective on all surfaces. Absolutely, Lily. 
Um, but we just haven't found a a genuine spinner other than we've gone for Watt at the moment, who's well proving himself better than Kai. So we'll see what we get in the future. They're rare, yeah. Yeah, so we're on the lookout, but yeah, you're right. They are rare. You let you bet on what? Play oh you want to play one more game? No, I think we're pretty much done. I'm just trying to look around. Man in shorts, IPL. Welcome in, welcome. What about the IPL? There's a few IPL updates. I could actually read some of them on out on stream if you want. Because I hear there's definitely some interesting things going on. Like, apparently, I didn't know this, but Lucknow will hold on to Stoinis. Oh. Rassi and Daryl Mitchell get released by the Royals. Okay. Faf, Maxi, and Hasaranga have been retained by RCB. Apparently, Jason Roy got released from his IPL team. Uh, what else have we got here? Padakal got retained by the Royals. Nice. You can get two spinners, two good spinners, and make spin pitches in your home and play out con opposition teams. Oh, yeah, yeah. Most, yeah. Okay, I can understand that logic. Yeah. Yes. Man in shorts. You are a legend. I, Aya is playing IPL. He is. You're right. Yeah, he is. That's a very good point. How's he doing in the IPL? Well, he got 100 this season. 75, 6 not out, 40, 60. He's doing pretty well, isn't it? Will Bolt play IPL? Yeah. Yes, he will. Yeah, he's, he'll be retained by um, Rajasthan for sure, you would think. So, yeah. Uh, Finch got released by KKR. I'm trying to just look around. Can't really see anything else that's too drastic right now. But yeah, that's the current update was uh, Lucknow was going to hold on to Stoinis. Finch has been really bad. Yeah, yeah. If you, yeah, 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 exactly right. Yeah, I'm not really keen on doing that strategy because I want to keep a balanced team. But yes, I do want to get a genuine good spinner and we haven't found that yet. Uh, but we, we will search. We'll keep going. I mean, we're not going to have a perfect team for a long time, you would think. But it's just good to keep moving on with the team that we've got going right now. It's good that we're actually performing at a, at a good level, though. Like, we, we won a game. Our first four games, we've won one. And our, some of our stats here are phenomenal. Going all around. Very, very good. Even Ethan Hunt is actually averaging 37, and he's about to get dropped. I'm not even sure he should get dropped on that. If anything, Duploy could get dropped, actually. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, so for our T20 team, Revenge is a backup, okay. Uh, we've got Wiggins as well, who's a good striker of the ball. I'm trying to find out where we try and put in Ethan Hunter in our T20 team. Because he's going to play Southern Brave as well. We probably... Well, let's actually just take a look at our T20 records. I don't think Goodelman's plays this year, if all things go right. Yeah, last year really struggled, so I don't think he plays. Um, Mark Watt definitely could because he's obviously got some experience. Ethan Kai definitely could as well because he's he was okay in the T20 stuff. wasn't great. wasn't wasn't too bad though. Play Hunter in the middle order, even if he's an opener. Yeah, that's the plan. 
Finch will make a comeback, you think? He just needs to find runs into Mystic, and he can play for two more years. Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, for the Renegade's sake. Fingers crossed. Uh, Wiggins probably could bat at the top of the order, for example. So he could end up batting, like, here, but where Young and Goodleman are. What did Reese do last year? He was actually really good with the bat. Not so much with the ball. No way Finch will make a comeback, though? Yeah, he's, he's struggling a little bit, though, isn't he? Where's Underwood looking for second eleven? Very good. 37. Young, not so much. Wilson's looking very good. Deploy. Wagstaff's okay. Not really, though. Ethan Hunter's got a low striker, which is a surprise. He could probably bat about five, though. We've got Hayden Kerr as well in the middle there. Obviously, Pearson. And Lyman averages 20. Sadler averages 18. Some phenomenal averages going around. So I think we'll actually have a pretty good uh, pretty good list. Young definitely looks like a long-form player. Yeah, I think that's what we bought him for. Because he averages 38 and 48. Versus Wilson averages 47, 33, but then 43 for the T20 stuff. So that's probably why his first class record is a bit lower. Is because he's kind of built more for the limited overs formats. And then vice versa for Young. Yeah. Even if his first class strike rate is kind of low. Yeah, we don't we don't care about strike rate though. We care about runs and that's what he's got for us so far. Openers play in the middle order doesn't seem to hurt them. Middle order players forced to open don't, don't do as well. Okay. That's interesting then. So maybe it's not that big a deal then. I'd, I'd want to try and just convert him to a... Middle order player just to secure it moving forwards, but I guess if he doesn't, then it, it, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah. Low strike rate in first class. Uh, low strike rate, good first class record in most cases. Right, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, other than that, everyone, I think that's probably going to do it for today's stream. Yeah, I think we're good, good for today. Sham played middle order this World Cup too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So next time we've got two more county championship games against Surrey. It's going to be a very tough one. I don't know what they're doing in Division 2 here. And yeah, they've already ripped it up here. Durham as well, 4-1. Surrey haven't lost either. Well, actually, Surrey haven't lost in, in general. Durham have, but they've won four. So that looks like a really tough game. And they've got some very good players. Roy, who's got 500 runs this year in first class cricket. Pope, 420. Will Jacks, yeah, Colin de Grondo. So they've got a very good side. Verdi, 22 wickets at 19. Have to look out for that. Uh, when does Tyson play? Good question. I don't know. But I'm not, I've ne I'm not a massive fan of him, so we'll just see how he goes. He's kind of there as a backup, though, more than anything else. Uh, we'll see how Pearson continues to play on. Uh, but that's going to be it for today's stream, everyone. Make sure you leave a like on the stream before you leave as well, because it definitely helps the algorithm and helps the channel get discovered by the YouTube people out there or by the YouTube... Uh, what do you call it? I guess the YouTube algorithm. Yeah. Uh, get helps the channel get discovered and all that good stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're watching the replay, definitely leave a comment down below as I read every single one. And thank you all for coming out to tonight's stream, everyone. No, Abijay's coming just as we're finishing. Oh, I'm so sorry, Abijay. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That's really unfortunate. Um, but... Um, I... It... We are going to stream tomorrow, at least that's the plan, so fingers crossed if everything goes well. We should be doing the World Test Championship on Cricket 22 as New Zealand tomorrow if things work out. And other than that, everyone, thank you all for showing up again. And until next time, everyone, have a good night.
Take care, and I'll see you all next time. Good night, everyone.